Hi, this is Dr. Rudraman from the Oral Health Channel and today we are going to be talking about dry socket. Let's start. So today I am going to be talking about uh, an occurrence or an eventful occurrence that happens after you get your tooth extracted either surgically or non-surgically which is known as dry socket also known as alveolar osteitis or alveolar osteitis sicca dolorosa and many more names basically what happens is that in the normal healing process of an extraction socket there is a fibrin clot that forms and that gets dissolved away very slowly and gradually over a period of time when the tissue heals over it however in some cases in untowardly cases because of the fact that either the patient is smoking or there has been some negative pressure or there has been some very vigorous rinsing or there has been some post-operative infection or the surgical uh, extraction was traumatic or very lengthy in uh, duration your fibrin clot gets destabilized and that clot dries up and it causes dry socket which causes debilitating pain now dry socket generally does not happen uh, up until one to two days it happens around the two to fourth day and the pain is very debilitating keeping you up at night and you get a foul smell also and the pain might radiate to the head and neck or the ear area as well now how to prevent it first of all the case planning is very important because i said there are a lot of risk factors for a dry socket such as poor old hygiene post-operative infection pericoronitis periodontitis uh, traumatic extraction lengthy duration a lot of bone manipulation and so on and so forth so we'll not get into the science of it the only thing is whatever instructions that the uh, doctor gives you before the extraction and after the extraction please follow them regularly up to the hilt also if possible i would recommend all the dentists to start off with a pre-procedural rinse with chlorhexidine digluconate before the extraction make sure that the oral hygiene has been maintained by doing you know professional scaling and cleaning in that area to managing a dry socket it's very simple obviously uh, the mechanism of action is very simple there is some sort of fibrinolysis that means the uh, fibrinolysis happens because of some the release of some chemical mediators usually the conversion of plasminogen to plasmin that accelerates the fibrinolysis uh, that could be because of bacteria any sort of you know toxins produced by the bacteria any sort of inflammation any sort of bone uh, healing process or resorption factors until you can so many other chemical mediators let's not get in the science once you've established once we have established after checking you out that it is dry socket we will examine you and will probably place a surgical dressing there such as alvigil do a you know procedural rinse there and will prescribe you 0.12% chlorhexidine uh, digluconate mouthwash also using monoject uh, syringes you can do irrigations at home and we will constantly monitor you for the next three to five days or seven days rather to see if the pain goes away usually dry socket is very self-limiting it doesn't have much problem but the pain is so much in dry socket that you do require our professional help and intervention at the same time let me talk about the incidence dry socket happens in 0.5 to 5 percent of all the extraction cases however in the surgical extraction of third molar that is the lower third molar or lower mandibular third molar it has been shown up to 38 percent that it actually happens how to avoid it don't smoke don't create a negative pressure make sure that the case is planned that's for the dentist let's hope that you are under antibiotic coverage a pre-procedural rinse and you are given all the instructions properly and you're following all the instructions properly and most likely it's not going to happen usually dry socket heals over seven to eight days but if you are having something like that i would really recommend you to call up the dental office where you got the tooth extracted and show yourself out now this was today's episode please like share and subscribe and please make sure you press the bell icon button for important updates if you want to get in touch with me here are my social media handles and my whatsapp number kindly refrain from calling directly just drop me a whatsapp message or a message on my social media handles and i'll get back to you within a couple of days if you have any queries doubts apprehensions suggestions or criticisms about oral health or the channel or the content please feel uh, free to please put it down in the youtube comment section and make sure that you are taking care of yourself and your family so that's it for today Thank you.